Hi everyone, this is Lori here with Lori Hooks. Welcome, thanks for hanging out with me today. So today's video is a yarn review and um, my review is on this Red Heart All-in-One Granny Square yarn, um, which is pretty new. It is from Red Heart, obviously. And this color that I picked up is called Soft White Amethyst. I'll let you look at the colors a little bit more. There's three tones of purple in here, plus a teal and white. And if you're not familiar with this yarn, this yarn has um, different color lengths of yarn to make a granny square and one skein makes 14 granny squares. I picked this up from my local Walmart. Um, I believe that the price was $11.67 Canadian. Um, and I just got one to give it a try. And for those of you who say, but Lori, you're on a no buy. I know I'm on a no buy, but um, I had to get one of these and try it out. So um, let me start out by saying, um, I like the granny stitch. I like the look of granny squares. I don't make granny squares. Typically, I don't make granny squares. Um, I like granny squares to have now, I probably would make granny squares if I was to make them all in one color, but because I think granny squares look nice with multiple colored rounds, I don't make granny squares because I don't like sewing in ends. Um, and I know there's many different ways to deal with ends. My preference is to leave ends and sew them in. I could do a whole nother video on why I do that, but that is my preference. Um, I have made a granny square project one time. I made a granny square cardigan um, that I do wear. I wear it pretty regularly. Um, and every time I wear it, I find another end to sew in. Now I probably did leave all those ends for the very last. So no wonder there's still ends that I'm still finding, but it is what it is. And that's why I don't make granny squares. So, um, let's get on about what this really video is really about is my review on this yarn and whether or not I liked it. So let me start out by stating that I did kind of cheat on this because I watched others videos and others impressions on this yarn first. So I first originally saw this yarn by somebody who, um, you know, she got it. She just started trying to make a granny square and it didn't work. And at the time when I watched the video, I was like, oh, the yarn doesn't work. Like, and I kind of left it at that and I didn't think about it further. Um, then the next first person that I was watching, she did read the pattern for the granny square that's on the, there's a pattern on the back of the label. Um, the particular pattern that's on it is to create this vest. But the point is to make a square following their instructions because otherwise, no, the color lengths aren't going to be right unless you, excuse me, have decent gauge and you follow the instructions for the granny square to work or else you have to adapt the pattern to make it work for you. Um, because yeah, the lengths are a specific amount. You can't just make your granny squares the way that you like to make them because it's not necessarily going to work for the color lengths. Now, um, there's lots of different ways to make a granny square. None of them are right. None of them, sorry, all of them are right. None of them are wrong. Um, when it comes to crochet, and how you do things, whether you do a chain between your clusters, whether you do one chain, two chains, three chains on your corner, whether you start with a chain three or a chain six or however you do it, there's no wrong. You just have an end result and the end result is what end result you prefer. Sorry about that. So, um, try to get back where I was. Um, the end result normally of how you make your square is fine. The issue with this yarn is because the lengths are a certain length, you have to follow a pattern or make the lengths work for you using your own pattern. 
Um, so I did start out by following the pattern on the label, which their pattern ends up with a larger hole in the corner and the chain six that they start with really shows and I don't like that. Um, so I did start out with making a square following their instructions. I went up to about round three and I used a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook as they recommend. And I got the square to pretty much work for me. The color change was pretty much between the rounds where it needed to be. Um, it took very little finagling for me to get the color change where it belonged. So um, I decided, well, the pattern works for me. I just don't like the way the pattern looks. So I'm going to try a different way and see whether or not the lengths work that way. And this is what I've watched several others do now. So I decided to try that myself. So I did make a square using a slightly different method than the pattern and I will explain. So I started out with a tail of approximately four inches, which is what the yarn recommends. And I did start with a chain four, um, which it's fine with me to have a hole in the center. I don't need to start with a magic ring. A chain four is just fine with me. This hole in the center is fine. There's holes between all these clusters, so why not have a hole in the middle? Um, so I did start with a chain four for the circle in the center and attach it to create a circle. And then into the circle, I started with a stacked single instead of a chain three or um, an extended double. I'm not very good at making extended doubles. Um, and then I did my clusters, my four clusters, and I did two chains for the corners on the first round. And it worked out that my color change was pretty much where it needed to be. I had to pull out one or two stitches and get that color change exactly where it should be. And for the final corner, I do a half double crochet to the first stacked single, because that's what I used, to attach my corner. And then I turn my work and go into the next round. So then in the next round, I did do a chain one between the clusters. And I don't think I said I used a six millimeter hook because I did drop one chain between those clusters on the corners. So I did go up what a half a millimeter on my hook to get, you know, to, to, to use up that extra yarn for those corners. Now I did find, I will comment that for the first, for rounds one, two, three, and four, I did kind of have to use a looser tension. And then in order to end up with an end to sew in on round five, the final white round, I did have to do that round pretty tight in order to get an end to sew in when I was done. The first time I did it, I had no end at all, so then I pulled out um, two sides and did that final round pretty tight, and then I got a nice end. So by the end, I did have to finagle a little tiny bit to get the color changes where I wanted to pull out a couple clusters here and there, but really a lot less finagling than it would be to sew in ends for five color changes, in my opinion. Um, I thought that it worked out pretty well and I thought that my squares look pretty nice. And I made three squares. By the time I got to the third square, I was just chugging right along at that point and could pretty much make a square with almost no finagling because I gotten used to what gauge I needed to use for each round to make my square. So yeah. Um, my review is that I would buy this yarn again, and I am going to go, well, I looked the last time when I was at Walmart, but I was at a different Walmart. I was on my way back from um, a city beside mine, and I had to drive past Walmart. Yeah, a really nice Walmart, actually. I like going to that Walmart because it's a really nice big Walmart and has nice wide aisles. Um, I stopped there on my way home because I know I like that one and I looked to see if they had any red heart granny all in one because I wanted to buy another color to go with these and they didn't have any. 
So I don't know if they never had any or if they had already sold out because my Walmart, I bought these. I bought this scheme almost two weeks ago. I bought it not the past Monday, the Monday before. And they had very little left at my Walmart. So um, I could see if that other Walmart had been sold out already. So um, yeah. I'll take a look and see if I can find some other colors the next time I'm at my Walmart. If not, I'll just keep an eye until they get more. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I can work on my 14 grannies that I'll get out of this scheme. And I enjoyed making these much more than I enjoy making a granny and sewing in five color changes worth of ends. So, um... I'd love to hear about whether or not you tried out this yarn. Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? Did you follow the pattern? Did you change the pattern? Um, you know, just love to hear what your interest, your feeling was on them. And um, you all know my opinion now. And if you have any questions or anything on this video, please feel free to also ask it in the comments below or send me an email. I always include my email in the description box. And I'll see you next time on Lori Hooks. Bye, everyone.